guys what's up and welcome back to my channel i'm doing with me the letters dlm for short in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you everything i know about um the ordinary rose, rose hipseed oil how to get the most out of it and how it works especially for persons with oily skin and i actually think persons with dry skin may be able to use it and get the benefits as well but i have an oily skin and i'm going to be sharing with you all the pros and cons First of all, let's talk about how affordable and available this is. I always like to review that in all of my videos of any products at all. The Ordinary, Desium in general, their products are just within reach. You can literally just stretch into a store and grab it. As per affordability, it is very affordable. One of the most affordable brands out there. But if you're in a country like mine where the value of the currency doesn't always help versus dollars, then it's still an expensive product so bear that in mind this cost me like eight thousand naira or something like that and it's a 30 ml bottle you guys 30 ml it it 8k <laughs> something that i think is worthy of mention bearing in mind the fear that most people have to approach oils in their skincare routines especially persons who have oily skin like me is the fact that oils are safe very safe but you have to be using types that are designed for your skin type types that are designed for your skin ones that are designed for your skin type so for example if you have an oily skin like me you want to reach out for oils that are rich in linolenic acid On the other side, if you have a dry skin, you want to reach out for oils that are rich in oleic acid because tendencies are that if you have an oily skin, your skin is deficient in linolenic acid. But if you have dry skin, your skin needs oleic acid and has enough linoleic, linolenic acid. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry, the battery for my light just died. So I'm filming bare, no extra light at all. So as I was saying, this is one of the oils that is rich in linolenic acid and that probably explains why I like it as an oily skin person. However, from my experience, this is so soothing. I feel like somebody who has dry skin can use it. But before we even jump into all of those, let's see what DCM says that this oil is targeted towards or what it's supposed to do. So I'm gonna go on their website and um, DCM chat room, which they have for conversations, and we'll see what they claim that the oil should do. Okay, so from here, I see that it targets dullness, dehydration, signs of aging, and that is formulated for all skin types. In my opinion, actually, yeah, it is formulated for all skin types. And then they said that it's rich in omega-3 acids and omega-6 acid which is just linolenic acid and linoleic acid. They've also said that it contains pro-vitamin A. Yes, I know that rose hip seed oil is a derivative of vitamin A. Um, moisture, hydration, and barrier function. Boom, boom. Those are very mighty claims. But I'm just going to be saying what I saw or didn't see from my use with this product. First of all, what I love about this thing, which I don't find with other oils or which I haven't found with other oils is the fact that I do not become oily by the next day. Normally when I use oils that are allegedly beneficial for oily skin persons, it is good, but the next day, yeah, I wash my skin or I cleanse my skin or I clean my skin, whatever, and I'm out doing my business. I'm oilier that day. And so I'm like, no, I can't keep using this oil. But with this oil, I don't get extra oiliness. Yet, there's hydration. There's severe, like intense hydration. I, and I can feel it in the plumness of my skin. And that, that just kills it for me, first of all. I love, I love, love, love the feeling of that. Yeah, there's water. There's, you know, moisture. Something in my skin. But... It's not worsening my oily state, if that makes sense. Hi, sugar. If you've been watching so far, can you kindly hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, maybe leave a comment, something related, something not related that you think I may be interested in. It will help me grow. 
and take nothing from you i promise also follow me on my various social media platforms actually there's just instagram for now <laughs> but it's doodlewa me the same name and let's flip back into the video regarding the signs of aging i don't really know how to feel about it and i'll explain what i mean um i feel like it may be temporary you know it may be a temporary thing because yes upon application at night by the next morning my skin actually looks brighter my lines don't look as visible i have smile lines because i'm always like my lines don't look as visible um my pores actually even look like you know they're choked up they are not as shouty as they would normally be which i love I feel like when I don't use it like the next night my skin is back to status quo maybe it's because I don't use this on an everyday as opposed to what they have prescribed on their website which I just checked so they say to use it every day maybe then your skin will always look better by the next morning but I don't always use this I use this like every two days something like that every other day maybe yeah but it's bomb and it's real those like my my all of my lines, all of my pores, all of my uh, acne scars, because I have a lot of acne scars from dealing with severe acne in the past and now, once in a while, acne. My acne scars also actually don't look as shouty as they would normally look. And I love that. Who wouldn't love it? Yes, also to reducing dullness and increasing how bright your skin looks yeah i confirm that in my experience the only thing i'm not very sure about is how permanent that anti-aging stuff is i found some commentaries somewhere that um this oil absorbs very quickly that's not true in my experience worthy of note my experience my experience is that it actually stays on your skin oily for long in fact maybe overnight it stays on your skin greasy or oily and i don't mind that to be honest but it's not true that it will go straight into your skin and you won't feel anything there'll be no oil no greasiness anymore come on it's oil so expect that level of discomfort maybe oh i have something funny to say i feel like there are so many other good things that this product does that they didn't even put on their website and i don't know why or maybe I wasn't patient enough to read them up. One is the fact that it actually soothes irritation. Like, it will calm the storm going on on your skin. That's my experience I'm sharing. But inflammation, irritation, it's like one of those things that was designed to protect the moisture barrier and restore it when it's damaged. You feel me? And that, oh, I reach out for this thing and I use it almost every day once the moisture barrier of my skin is compromised or seemingly damaged. Because let's agree on this, there's actually nothing you can do to get your skin to agree with treatments when your moisture barrier is damaged or even slightly compromised. Because it will just be like, you get some um, burning sensations, peppery sensations, all of those things that we don't like. There has to be some sort of peace brought to the skin before the skin can receive the things that you're offering it so for that reason i really really love this product like i reach out to it every time i feel like my moisture barrier is starting to yeah just a bit and my skin is getting overly sensitive to my treatments or just my regular just anything that it comes in contact with especially to the sun ah <laughs> So, yep, long ass review, but I hope that this helps somebody, you know, first of all, overcome the fear of not wanting to use oil because you're oily or because you're too dry and you just think that it will, you become oily if you use oil or, you know, just any reason like that. And I hope that this also sheds light as per how to use this product, the benefits and etc. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, kindly subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit the bell beside the subscribe button and share my videos. Also leave a comment. You can ask me questions in the section below. I'm open to answering them. And I'll see you next time I'm here on YouTube. Mwah.